Welcome to a new scented video. If you're anything like me, you may have noticed that lots of reviewers now on YouTube are coming out with their uh, perfumes for spring. And I would love to make a video like this, but unfortunately, when I'm looking out the window, there's so much snow still and it's raining and snowing every day. I don't really feel very springy, so instead I thought to do a video idea that has been on my mind for a while and I find it to be equally terrifying and fun. So the idea and the premise of today's video is that if you could keep only one perfume per brand, what would you choose? Let's get into it. I do tend to favor some brands and I have my favorite brands from which I own more than let's say three bottles. And let's play a game of pick just one. So starting off, I will begin from the brands of which I have the most bottles and we'll go down to brands that I have three bottles of. And the first one of my favorite brands is Killian. I have all in all six perfumes in my collection from Killian and I will show them quickly what they are. I have Intoxicated, which is a gorgeous cardamom coffee type of scent. And also I have Rolling in Love, which is like an almondy, floral, really feminine. Next up I have Love Don't Be Shy, which is a beautiful marshmallow orange blossom perfume. Next up, I have Good Girl Gone Bad, which is a very nice, super fresh floral with osmanthus. Next up, I have a super long name, but I call it Princess, and this is from their Sephora line. Um, very sweet, it has tea, it has marshmallow as well, so it's quite nice, sweet oriental. And last but not least, I have Angel's Share, which is an apple pie, boozy, brandy, woody type of scent. Even though I love all of my Killian perfumes, if I have to pick just one, it might have to be a battle between Love Don't Be Shy and Killian. By the way, if you're hearing any background noises, I really apologize, guys, but back to the spring vibes. Outside there is a machine that cleans the snow out. so. Uh, very thematical over here, but I think if I only have to pick one, it will be Angel's Chair. It is so incredibly delicious, warm, a little bit spicy, incredible fragrance. And for me, this is a more special of the bunch. So this one is staying. I mean, they're all staying, let's face it, but you know, let's play along. There is another brand from which I have six perfumes and this is Tom Ford. So from Tom Ford, I have Angel's Share, an incredibly tasty, uh, deep, sweet, woody, cherry fragrance. I have Tobacco Vanille, which is also incredibly sexy vanilla tobacco. I have the fresh Eau de Soleil Blanc, which is the perfect summer scent with pistachios. Uh, and many, many other notes. Uh, my signature scent, which is Noir Pour Femme, an incredibly sexy, spicy oriental, very unique uh, white patchouli, which is an incredibly sophisticated, very cold type of scent. <laughs> I know it doesn't explain very well, but it's a unique fragrance. And then I have Jasmine Noir, which is a very um, kind of feminine floral based on jasmine flower. Now, if I have to pick only one, uh, the battle will be between Lost Cherry and my signature Noir Pour Femme. Oh my God, it's so hard. Actually, I didn't realize that. Wow. Um, I think at this point, Right now, I am drawn to Lost Cherry more because I find it to be incredibly delicious. Like, I crave this scent. I almost want to eat it. It is such a beautiful gourmandy take uh, on a deep cherry. So it's not your cherry blossom type of fresh scent, but rather like a gourmandy uh, oriental 
incredibly beautiful. So, and because this is quite pricey perfume, so I really kind of cherish it. And this will be the one which is staying. Next up, one of my favorite brands in terms of aesthetic and the whole vibe. This is Memo Paris and I own five of their bottles. First, I have Granada, which is a beautiful, kind of like a summery orange blossom dominant scent. It does have lots of notes. I'm not going to go into detail, but a very beautiful one. Next up, I have Siwa, which is a very kind of like a soothing, lotion-y type of scent. Really, really kind of classy. My other memo is Inle, which is a very nice, fresh, citrusy osmanthus type of scent. Then we also have Lalibela, which is a floral oriental with tobacco. And last but not least, I have Winter Palace, which is the most unique of the bunch. It is kind of like a tea fragrance. I am really lost for words. I don't know really what to, <laughs> what to choose from. I think if I have to choose, here the bottle is, I think, between Granada and Winter Palace. Both are very kind of interesting scents. Winter Palace is a very unique take on tea with lots of citrus. At first I thought it was a bit too masculine for me, but I've grown to really enjoy the scent of it and I find it very soothing. So surprisingly, it's in the tie with Granada, which is a very feminine, happy kind of orange blossom for the summer, really beautiful and feminine. And I guess if I have to pick one, I would keep Granada. The next brand, of which I have three bottles, is Parfums de Marly. First off, we have Ojan, which is very similar to Angel's Share in this kind of like an apple brandy uh, vibe. Then we have a very gorgeous one. This is Safanad, which is a very happy orange blossom scent, quite reminiscent of Granada. And we also have Delina, the very famous Delina. This is actually Delina exclusive, so the more like a sultry sister of the two. And the battle here would be between Safanat and Oajan. Now, this is very hard indeed, because I already chose Granada, which is kind of similar to this, and I also chose Angel's Share, which is similar to this. So I guess I'm gonna have to go with Delina. That doesn't make much sense. I guess if I have to pick just one Wow, I guess I don't make any sense today. Wow Because Delina is not really me. It's very girly and and like floral and rosy It does have lots of elements, but I've always been kind of saying that uh, She's not me. So it wouldn't make absolutely any sense to only pick Delina. <laughs> so I guess I still have to stick to those two, like which one is most me. I guess I'm gonna go to Safanad. This is my choice for sticking with it. I know the Parfums de Marley thing didn't make any sense, I realized. Uh, another brand that I have three bottles of is Van Cleef and Arpels, and I have from them Orchide Fanny, a very delicate chocolatey and violety vanilla, very like powdery. Uh, also we have Bois Doré, which is an incredibly delicious, scrumptious uh, tonka bean type of scent. And we also have uh, Ambre Imperial, which is a gorgeous, sophisticated amber scent. If I have to pick only one, I don't have any hesitation here. I would go with Bois Doré, which is a perfect kind of like a blankety type of scent, very comforting, sweet, woody, uh, sophisticated, very complex and nuanced. And it just makes me happy wearing it. It keeps making this sound. <laughs> yeah, this will be my winner and I would keep this one. The next brand of which I have three bottles, surprisingly, is the very unpopular Angel Schlesser. I think I'm 
as far as I am aware, maybe one of the few uh, YouTubers that are talking about it, but I think they are very like a hidden gem under, under the radar type of house. Uh, we have Oriental Soul, which is incredibly comforting, sweet, heliotropy, powdery, warm vanilla scent. Uh, we have Pour Elle Sensuel, which is an, like a woody uh, floral, which is super, super sophisticated with enormous power and very, very kind of, it develops over time. And this is Oriental Soul, no, Oriental Edition 2. They have a bit confusing names. And this one is super nice, kind of like a take on the woody rose or rose oud type of scents. Think Rose Araby by uh, Armani Privé, but lighter version. I really like this, but I really need to be in the mood to wear it. So it is not in the tie. And the tie is between Oriental Soul and Pour Elle Sensuel. And um, I think I'm going to have to go with this one, Pour Elle Sensuel, because it's more special and it kind of has a much better performance as well. Another brand that I have three bottles, this is not three, three, well, three bottles of is Guerlain. I really love Guerlain. They are one of my favorite perfume houses overall. So I'm in shock that I only actually have three of their scents at the moment. I do have Limon Verde, which is their like a Aqua Allegoria summer scents. It smells like a alcohol free, mojito with a bit of like a coconut vibe which comes from figs the ever so gorgeous terracotta which is this sunny upscale holiday somewhere in the south of france which i have never been and i really want to go and the ever timeless shalimar i do have actually the shalimar perfume initial uh, version which at the moment is very hard to find and oh my god, guys, this is really, really hard one because this is such a happy scent. This is like happiness in a bottle. And Charlemar is a beautiful classic and is so sophisticated. <sighs> wow. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I have chosen already Safanad. You know, this is not a collection type of thing. So it's kind of like choose this or this, which one you want. Which one do I want? Oh my God! Shalimar is much more special and, you know, upscale type of serious scent. And this is just such a gorgeous happiness in a bottle. Oh my God! I guess I'm gonna have to go with this one just because it's so easy to wear. I don't know, I can't choose, I can't choose. We're going with this one. Please don't ask. I have to pick one. Now the last brand that I have three bottles of and last brand of this video is Zerzhov. I have been very interested in their fragrances. I have not picked up Italica because I found it to be excruciatingly expensive and I think that they are trying to cash in on the hype. So I decided not to support that. Uh, but I really love, I am very curious, like I love the perfumes that I've had, I've had from them and I'm curious to try more. Now, why I'm stalling in here is because I actually cannot find a bottle of Lyra, which is shocking because it's my one of my favorite fragrances. Let's pretend that the bottle is right here. But uh, a couple weeks ago, I got so overwhelmed of having boxes in the cupboard where I keep my perfumes. I had like a like a drawer that is full of boxes. I had like 70 boxes and they were taking so much space. I'm, I was tired to feel like uh, this kind of stress and like a hoarder so I just grabbed a huge huge Ikea bag and I threw all of the boxes in there took them to the trash it was not easy but I did it and now that I can't find my Lyra bottle I'm kind of horrified that what if I don't know how that's possible but what if my bottle somehow ended up in there I don't want to think about this possibility but let's pretend I have Lyra I have Dama Bianca, which is a gorgeous 
sophisticated, happy, like spring in a bottle. I will include it when the time comes, possibly the next video. And one absolutely gorgeous, this is summer in a bottle. This is the gorgeous Dolce Amalfi, which to me is the most beautiful take on Quinn's perfume. And it is so unique. Now this is also the hardest pick because if I would have now here Lyra, I love this scent so much. It's the most scrumptious lemon pie. This one, 10 out of 10, I love so much. And this as well is a unique, happy, juicy, this is a juicy fragrance, perfect for the summer. I really don't know which one to pick. I guess I'm gonna have to go with Lyra, just because of the history I have with the, <laughs> I keep talking about it, but L by Lolita Lempica, which Lyra smells very much like, and I love this scent. I guess I'm gonna have to go with that. If I can keep one, I need to go and find my bottle, guys. But please know that these ones are very close tie. They all three are very close tie. But if I could just have one of them, I'm gonna have to go with Lyra. Although I will spray Dolce Amalfi, I am in heaven. This is the most beautiful, fresh, exotic, juicy, happy sunshine type of scent. Anyway, guys, this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this concept. Um, I'm tagging everyone <laughs> who has uh, more than three bottles or two bottles from one brand, three and up. Uh, which one would you keep for brand and why? You will see that it's not very easy in some cases. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, give it a thumbs up. I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!